friends and welcome to the channel. My name is Liz. I am the official craft nerd. Today we are going to revamp these uh, nesting dolls. I had picked these Santa nesting dolls up at a yard sale. Unfortunately, they were missing a few of the dolls as you can tell. So there's only three of them here, but I paid like 50 cents for the whole set. So even though they're cool and they're older, we're going to revamp them into something that we can use today. So I'm gonna start off with giving all of these dolls a coat of Waverly chalk paint. I'm gonna use plaster. I just wanna make sure I have a base coat before I do any other types of painting over top of these. And the white just worked for me. So since we have a lot of painting to do here, I am speeding it up a little bit, but I just want to take this time to thank you for coming to my channel. If you are new here, welcome you guys. I enjoy creating new and cool shabby chic type items all the time, but I'm really on a kick right now of revamping and repurposing older items that I pick up at yard sales and thrift stores. So again, welcome you guys. I hope you stick around. Hit the subscribe below, hit the like, hit the notification bell, you know, all that YouTube jazz. And if you are returning craft nerds like me, I appreciate y'all guys. You guys are my family. I love y'all so much. And yeah, look at me speed through this painting, you guys. I wish I could paint that quick. <laughs> now, if you can't really tell, I mean, it's not going to be a smooth finish on this and that's fine because these are wood and there are a lot of little cracks and nicks and everything already in these nesting dolls and I love that I want it to look rough I want it to look kind of banged up and older so it's perfect for what I'm going to do with these So I'm going to take some painter's tape here and you're just going to see me kind of going around uh, making a line. Now my vision with this is I want these to be 4th of July related. Now I don't really tend to do a whole lot of like holiday themed type projects but I did want to at least get one out there before the 4th of July showed up so these nesting dolls were going to have a kind of a vintagey 4th of July feel to them, Americana type feel whatever you want to call it and I wanted to have these kind of be like I guess kind of like firecrackers you've seen a lot of these done which is like wood blocks and you know different types of uh, situations where you can have a set of two or three and it's very American related for the 4th of July so I'm not sure exactly how to phrase that <laughs> but you guys are going to get the picture so Basically what I'm doing is making some red stripes on the bottom of this larger one and as you can tell like when I take the paint off even though it's painters tape it's still kind of pulling off pieces of the chalk paint that I had already done and that's fine because it's giving it that aged rustic look that I want so don't worry about that it's it's completely okay with me and if you guys have been around long enough you know that I am happy with the imperfect so it is so fine for me. I'm going to take this top part and I'm going to paint it blue. Now you can kind of probably see those little stars. I was trying to draw some stars on there, kind of give me some kind of a, a guide. And then I realized that was just going to take forever. So I'm going to just try to freehand some stars on the top of this. I know it's not going to look perfect. I know I can't create a perfect star. Now some tips if you have to have it perfect. And there are some people that, you know, I understand it's your, your flavor, however you like to create things. 
if you don't want it to be sloppy, then I understand. Here's a tip. Get some star stickers. You know those little star stickers? You can probably find them at your dollar store or wherever. Usually even in the, um, like the school supplies, you know, for teachers and stuff. Put those little stickers on there. Paint over them and then peel them off. And it's almost like a stencil. You know, it'll, it'll definitely give you that perfect star template that you want. Me, I was okay with it looking kind of, you know, hand-drawn and childlike because it is what it is. And that's how I did it. So <laughs> now you can tell on this second one, I went ahead and just painted this whole thing blue. And we're doing the same thing with the stars. So again, if you have to have perfect stars, a tip would be to get those little tiny like good job stars that you can find in the craft stores or dollar stores or wherever and use those however I was fine with mine looking like this so <laughs> for the smaller one I'm going to kind of do the same thing um, my stripes are going to be vertical instead of horizontal though on this and uh, I'm just going to kind of wing it it doesn't have to be perfect it's not going to be perfect because again this was a smaller piece so you know I probably could have did the stripes smaller I don't know I liked it like I did it, so no big deal. But very, very quick, again, you guys, like just using the painter's tape, not worrying if it's going to, you know, peel any of that other paint off. It's completely fine. It's gonna give it that rustic feel that we're trying to achieve here. So once all of the nesting dolls are painted like we like, I'm going to just dry brush on some more of that white just to kind of really give it more of a rustic feel, I guess, you know, especially when we do like shabby chic type stuff, you know, you can never add too much. <laughs> so I just wanted to rough this up a little bit. So I'm, you know, just dry brushing some of that paint on there and then I'm taking a little sanding block here and just kind of roughing it up even more, breaking up any of the monotony on the paint and you guys. The final outcome of these are so perfect. I absolutely love these. These are great for the 4th of July. They're not too in your face Americana, but they're just enough if shabby chic and vintage and all of that is your style. So again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for this very quick, super easy flip type video. I hope that you come and see me again. And until next time, y'all stay safe. Love y'all. Bye.